And folks, let me tell you, my heart is pumping. The green flag is in the air. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Well, let's go racing, boys, and please be nice to each other. First three cars up both lanes with a small breakaway. Bottom is going to flop quicker than the top. Clear high if you want it, clear high if you want it, clear high if you want it, clear high if you want it. All clear. Already you can see those alliances starting to form, those Fords in the outside lane, all those Chevys lined up on the inside lane. Well, it was a Chevy Ford front row, Austin Dillon electing the inside, and the Fords formed up quickly up high behind Eric Elmerola. Still building speed as they come to the trioval. And Mike, I think that two car jumping out front, if I was the rest of the competition, I'd be a little worried about that because Brad is one of the best of working one side to the other. Whichever lane has the energy, whichever lane has the momentum, that's the lane he goes in. A lot of damage for several cars. Bubba Wallace coming down the front straightaway past the start finish line, bump drafting on the 12 of Ryan Blaney. Watch the right of your screen and see what happens. You can just see it connects to the rear bumper, Ryan Blaney, and he tries to jump out to pass him, but they were still connected and made contact. Blaney actually got pretty lucky to come out of it the way he did, but unfortunately, it turned Bubba sideways. Michael McDowell is collected, and behind them, Clint Boyer, Kevin Harvick, and more. You can see that, that hood flap. That means you're in that pocket of air that you can stay connected to that rear bumper of the car in front of you. Yeah, he just moved to the, he moved to his left. And when you hit that car on the left side, it just. And, and that's also, as he turned back to the right, these cars, when you turn back to the right, they load on that left rear and it just turned him sideways to the right. You'll see a lot of that. That's why these cars uh, aren't as stable as they used to be. All right, stage points at stake. Kyle Busch in position to get the last one of those. No, Haley in the 77. Ahead of Kyle Busch for 10th. Busch back to 10th. I love it. This is the battle of saving fuel to see who wants to win this stage. Truex might be out. I think they all might be. They're, they're all running on fumes. I mean, it's really, really going to be close for these guys. They were on pit road at lap 14 and some at lap 15. They do have the that, first caution flag. They do have that reserve. They have a slight reserve they can switch over to at... Uh, I'm sure most of them are on right now. And you've got one lap. When you, most of the time they set that up with about three quarters of a lap. So they, they have it planned out of when that thing go, you know, cuts out, you flip that switch to that second pump, you, can, you have to come back to pit road. Kligerman and others down on the apron, apparently loss of fuel pressure. There's no gas gauge in these cars. Nope. But here we come, final lap, stage one. And Ty Dillon from Welcome, North Carolina. The Geico Chevy is going to win the stage from Alex Bowman Chevrolet. One, two, three, four with Austin Dillon and Chase Elliott. His second hey, stage win of this season. Ooh, contact Ooh. there. Just, Ricky Stenhouse just got a bump. Was that Kurt Busch on well, the inside? Well, I, I think, think it was. I think Stenhouse got a little bit loose right there. Looks I like some of those too. boards are a little free on the outside. I've seen that happen up to 42 of uh, Larson. I saw him get sideways off the corner. These cars are right on the verge of being spun out. And something also happened to Ty Dillon, and that sort of broke up a little bit of the momentum and, and made some of these cars have to fan out. Almirola is 10th in the number 10. Trying to get the last stage point just ahead of Logano. There's Almirola, who has led the most laps today, 27. Don't tell Eric, but in the last 18 races at Talladega, the driver who led the most lap only won three times. He didn't have to be one of them, was he? He sure. <laughs> <laughs> no. he, listen, he knows how to lead one lap, yeah. the, the most important one. I think one thing, these guys are glad this stage is over with because they need tires. It's not over yet. <laughs> Chase Elliott trying to become only the fourth Chevy driver to win a stage in 2019. Ty Dillon now has two, Kyle Larson one. Look at this huge run coming just, from Blaney. Hang on, hang on. Kurt Busch got to the outside, got some help from his brother Kyle Busch, and that whole lane started really forming and moving forward. Starter has the green and white checkers in hand. Stage two comes to an end right now. Chase Elliott. Coming to the flag, leading Alex Bowman and William Byron, Hendrick Chevy's one, two, three. Woo, that was pretty uh, intense. Good job. Car, yep. Car in the wall, Chris Busher.
and he gets tagged by De Benedetto. Truex is in it. And so is the 77 of rookie Justin Haley. Right on cue. 19 of Truex getting caught up in this. Larry, that trend was nobody's friend. Seven to go. Got a fire on the 95 to Benedetto. Having a great day, just running so well all day long. Good to see him climb out. Chris Buescher took a hard hit. And there's Haley. Haley's His rookie run spoiled. I believe the 10 car of Amarola gets a nice run behind Chris Buescher. He almost tries to make it three wide right there. Buescher comes down. A little bit of contact oh. right there. And just turns the 37 around. Boy, and Benedetto oh, had big. nowhere to go, and Truex had nowhere to go. So happy to see that 37 car stay Haley. on the ground when the 95 hit him. Yeah, yep. big hit by Haley in the 77. Wow. Oh. How did Kurt Busch get to the inside yeah, of Ricky just, Stenhouse? He just nosed him out of the way, moved Stenhouse up. Chevy's lined up on oh. the bottom behind Logano, who goes up, and Kurt with him. Buddy, opened up the door for Chase Elliott on the inside. And it did. You. Chase has got his teammate Alex Bowman pushing, going to take the lead here. I think this could really pay off for these guys. We know what they can do. We've seen them do it earlier today. Three to go. Chase Elliott out front. But can Stenhouse come up and Logano move up with him and put two forwards try to get to the front? That's absolutely the best thing that Chase Elliott could have asked for right there. I think it's going to take a whole nother lap to get that outside lane organized. They can't do it. I just don't see it happening. That nine car is in the driver's seat. Oh, oh Stenhouse. No. Stenhouse, Stenhouse pounds the wall, but they took the white flag sponsored by Credit One Bank under green. Stenhouse. No caution. Is it? Trying no to get away. Yet. Here they come. Chase Elliott, Alex Bowman, Ryan Priest, Logano on the outside. Oh. And Byron's Byron. around. He crashes. Caution oh. is out. Heavy, heavy oh, impacted world. inside wall by the 42 of Larson. Man. Kyle Larson, Jeffrey Earnhardt with heavy damage, and William Byron. Man. On the last lap. Well, that was really scary looking. That 42's floating through the air as he made it, uh, con um, impact to that inside wall. Well, these three Chevy drivers did as ordered, worked together. And with the checkered flag, Chase Elliott wow. has brought the Elliott name back to victory lane at Talladega. Great job. Chevy, one, two, three, four.